Shame on you. Shame on you for leading to this level of corruption. You have disavowed your right to even sit in the seats that you occupy. How dare you? How dare you try to silence the voice of the citizens? You will not get away with this. The citizens of this county deserve better. Their voice is not being heard. We owe it to them. The claims of fraud are baseless. Every challenger in that room at all times had an opportunity to observe and have their challenge recorded. From the more than 300 monitors that we deployed, uh, there was not a single instance of fraud. If evidence of such misconduct existed, it would already have been presented in court. It is your civic duty to certify these legitimate results. Certify all of the votes, not just the white people, not just the suburbs where the, the majority is white. The failure to certify this election is a travesty. National political rhetoric that is toxic and destroying this country has made its way to this body. Legions of folks who had come from across the state, who had come to intimidate and disrupt the counting of the ballots happening in Detroit. So despite all the people trying to get them to stop counting, they finished the count. I was supposed to report any voter suppression and what I'm supposed to report you guys now for suppressing the vote of our people, of our community. As someone who served in the military, I was willing to sacrifice my life so that every single American would have the right to vote. Really, you're taking our voice. Uh, you're erasing our voice in this election. Uh, even though we went above and beyond to ensure that we were able to, to cast our, our votes. You are standing here today telling folks that Black Detroit should not have their votes counted. This is un-American. This is a blatant attempt to suppress Detroit voters. You are a disgrace as it relates to the ability to have a free and impartial election in this nation. The law isn't on your side. History won't be on your side. Your conscience will not be on your side. For me, it's not about Democrat or Republican. It is about democracy. It is about what is right. And clearly, half of this board does not understand that. At the end of the day, our voices will be heard.